So once we, um, I guess the, the final thing with the business plan competition is we were introduced to a lot of really seasoned entrepreneurs and businessmen, and they wanted to be a part of our company. And so they approached my dad and they suggested that we form a company and they proposed equity percentages. And um, my dad, being a professor, um, knew that he had spent the last 20 years of his life um, that had culminated in this research that became T-splines. And he felt that that was a significant contribution. And, and the, the ratio of equity that the business people were proposing my dad didn't think was, was quite right because it seemed so easy. After you'd made the technology, I mean, selling it, how hard can that be? So he figured that, that I could just start the company. <laughs> um, and uh, so I, I, I personally would have welcomed all the help I, I could get, but we went ahead and, and started the company just, um, just he and I did, with, and we hired his grad students. So the first thing we had to do was license the technology from the BOE Tech Transfer Office. And, um, I don't know, has anyone made it down to the BOE Tech Transfer Office before? Um, there, it's a, they have a lot of great technologies available for license, and I guess the, the director there, Mike Alder, said that he comes down to the BOE Business School fairly often now to give presentations about the technology there, but um, to, to license the technology from BYU basically involved kind of figuring out the terms of the deal, and then they ended up taking uh, an equity stake in our company, and then also we owed them a small percentage of royalties for everything that we sold. Um, but securing that deal was really important to us, and so we, we hired a, a high-priced lawyer to help with that. Um, but again, having that technology ownership firmly in place was, again, a huge part in when we actually sold our company. Autodesk was very... Um, we dug in really deeply as far as who actually owned this technology, so getting that license squared away was really important. Um, the next thing we had to figure out was how we were going to fund our operations. So coming out of those business plan competitions, we had about uh, $10,000 um, of money and another $15,000 in services. And um, that seemed like I, I had no frame of reference for how far that could get us. Um, so we, again, we, we hired my dad's grad students. We started programming, and we need more money. So my dad just started kicking in his retirement fund. Um, and uh, so that got us kind of far. But most of our funding actually came from the National Science Foundation. Um, they, there's a, they have a program called the Small Business Innovation Research Program where, the, where they will invest for commercializing U.S. technology. NSF invests a lot in doing research at universities, and this is kind of their, um, part of their strategic initiative for the United States to, to re maintain its relevance in the world and to kind of its leadership in technologies by, by helping people commercialize technology. So we were able to get um, half a million dollars of funding from the National Science Foundation. But one thing that anyone will ask you when they're about to give you money, one is, I mean, what's your idea? And in our case, what technology is behind it. And the third, which is the most important piece, is um, who's the management team. And when the National Science Foundation saw that, and they saw me, um, then they were a little bit concerned, because I'd, I'd never, it was just straight out of school. I, I think I was, still was in school. And so they, they called us on the phone. They, they said, we think this is a really promising technology, but in order, in order for us to fund you, you need to get a board of directors. And I'd already convened advisory boards to give me advice about what to do. And I, I just, I mentioned that to them. And I was like, well, wouldn't that serve the same purpose? And they're like, no, you need to get a board of directors because the difference between a board of directors and a board of advisors is the board of directors is um, required to help you run the company in the best way, whereas advisors just offer advice. Um, so we went ahead and took that advice. And we'll talk about that in a second. But I think out of all of the things that contribute to the success of our business, having a solid board of directors is by far the, the most important thing that, that we did. 